Hello my friends, it's Gabriel with The Last Huntsman Channel here. I'm just out in my garage. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to put a sharp 90 degree spine on a knife. Now obviously this is a Becker BK-17. It's a production knife, so a lot of production knives don't necessarily come with sharp 90 degree spines. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it to where it can effectively strike a ferro rod. So let's get started. Friends, this is one of the final things I'm going to do with my Becker BK-17 here. I already, you know, put the handle scales on, but I took them back off because I'm going to put a 90 degree spine on. So first of all, i got my vise here. I'm going to put a towel in here and try to somewhat keep it from getting marred on. I'm going to try to predominantly clamp down on the tang here. Now I'm going to put a 90 degree spine on this part here. I'll actually show you guys real quick. On just this short little part here. So I could use it more as like a bush blade if I want to. So I'll get all set up real quick and then I'll get started on this. So all I'm going to use is just a basic metal file here. And I'm just going to file on this. And it's going to take a while to do, and I'm obviously not going to. And you just want to try to stay as horizontal, perfectly parallel as you can, so you don't go at some odd obtuse angle or something like that. But I'm going to try to make this into a 90 degree spine here. Pretty damn close. I want to test this out here. towel on fire here. Getting there, but I'm going to work on it some more. There, my friends, is how you put a sharp 90 degree spine on a knife. And that also goes to one of the final steps of heavily modifying your Becker teener or even Becker knife in general. But here I'll just show you guys one more time. Just Hell, that's almost as good as my LT writes. Pretty nice. I'm liking it. That concludes this part of the Becker BK7 or 17 modification. Well, my friends, uh, got a good 90 degree spine. Hope this is just a quick little show, uh, do it yourself type of video. Uh, just be prepared both physically and spiritually. God bless and carry on.